What's up, everybody? Um, today we're going to talk about what top five things that the Nintendo NS needs. Okay, number five. Third-party support. You think about it, the only third-party support that Nintendo have is mostly Sega. And some people, well, Smash Bros. had Mega Man, Capcom, Mega Man for Capcom, and Namco, Namco, Pac-Man. Well, yeah, but they, but that's only one game, and they're just guest cameo, guest appearance. That's Fable Fighters. So, here's what the um, third party companies need. This is what Nintendo needs. Let me just try and set the right up. Okay, um, EA Sports, Sega, well they already have Sega, but, but this, you need a lot more. Ubisoft, yes they got some still, but come on. This need a little bit more every year. Capcom, we need Street Fighter V. And a new Mega Man game, come on, who wants Mega Man 11? Square Enix, Final Fantasy VII better be on the NS. Nunco. Yeah, okay. Prime Games. They already got that. But here's the one that's gonna make you guys wanna drop your job. Raw Star Games. You don't know them. They're basically developers of Grand Theft Auto. Midway Games. Mortal Kombat. It would be pretty cool. Number four. New IPs. Nintendo. Don't get me wrong. I love Mario. I love Zelda. I love everything they got. Splatoon, yeah, but I know we don't want to play the story mode. Mostly everybody wants to play the shooting games. Wow. <laughs> but it has some unweighted titles. I mean, I remember when Zombie U came out. It wasn't that impressive, so... This has some original. And T-rated titles. I know Xenoblade Chronicles. You know, that's my least favorite game of all time. I hate that game so much. We're gonna talk about that some other time, but still, have some T-rated titles. That's basically like Nintendo Land, but better. Number three, strong launch titles. Nintendo, um, I remember back when the GameCube came out, your strongest launch title was Super Smash Bros. Melee. Obviously, everybody wanted that game. But, here's what they should do. Here's what you guys need to do. So, somebody please forward this. Okay, now I have unbelievable games on here, so let's, let's go with it. Grand Theft Auto 5, next gen. Nothing with the Auto 6, hopefully, but put it on there. It will change people who said Nintendo is a kiddie company, change their minds. Nintendo is not really a, a kiddie company, they're just family friendly. They still have Xenoblade Chronicles. They have Metroid, so... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Final Fantasy 7, the remake. Yes, that needs to be on the NS. Metroid Prime 4, yes. Or a new Metroid um, title. Let's play with like Metroid Prime, but still. Mega Man 11. Tell Capcom to make a Mega Man game. A new Mario title called Super Mario NX, code name, but really it should be called Super Mario Universe. We, but just think about it. Let's say from the original game. I know get off track, but still, he's about to say the title. We I mean, just sat. NES. You just take out blood. It just you take out the blooders out of the title. It's Super Mario, Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. Now 64 was Super Mario 64, but it was his own 3D world. <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine. Eh, let's get that. Super Mario Galaxy. Yes, Super Mario World to Super Mario Galaxy. The next Mario title should be called Super Mario Universe. Come on. A Kirby title. Come on. It has been a while since Kirby had a launch title on a had a launch title for a console. Usually he'd be late. He'd be like Kirby's Adventure that I currently let's play right now. Came out when the Super Nintendo was two years old, you know, at least in America. He never really had a launch title. I mean, the only time he was in the launch title was Smash Bros. Melee. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Zelda. Zelda 
Yes, I want Zelda to use. I want Zelda to use. <coughs> Sorry, Zelda U needs to be on the NS too. Why had to deal with Twilight Princess with the GameCube? Well, the first port came out. When the first version of the game came out on the GameCube, when the rare port came on the Wii. Do like that. Street Fighter Five next gen. Give me some updated quality and graphics. Um. Earthbound fans, we really need a new Earthbound game. But some of that was like 3D looking, right? Something like the canceled Earthbound 64. It really looked pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just sick today. F Zero, we really need a new F Zero game. A Mario Kart 9. Some of you has, have been thinking that Mario Kart 8. We'll have a DLC pack 3. Which may be true, but Mario Kart. They might have made DLC pack 3 and made that to a Mario Kart 9 since the NS is coming out. You know? So. Yeah, the most important one at all, the, at all these titles Smash Bros. for Wii U on the NS as a port. Not like a complete new game, it's too quick. I know some of you guys be thinking who really wants a new Smash Bros. game right away. Well, well Melee came out two years after um, the original game. And if you think about it, Smash Bros. 5 might come out this year. Well, no, that's going to be a problem. Sakurai is tired. Um, I might make another video about that, but I'll tell you what I'm going to say in that video. Yeah, I want to be a port of the Wii U. But with all the DLC... Um, included and in high quality graphics. Look, look, look pretty good for the internet. Okay, number two. Release in 2017. I think it'll be okay to do release it in 2017 because the Wii U still needs to um walk a little bit. It's on its last leg. Well, last two legs, but still. It needs to be um, just it, the Wii U needs this year right now, so 2017 or 2018 will be good. Heck, it will be able to compete with the PlayStation 5, the Xbox 2, or the 720. It will make sense because if you do it like that, it will be able to compete because Xbox One and PlayStation 4, they came out a year later after Wii U. Huh? What do you say? Okay, I will. Like I was saying. Number one. Number one. Be powerful. It needs to be stronger than the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. If not as strong as PlayStation 5 and Xbox 720. That's my top five things I want from the NX. See ya.